The all live Ridley sea turtles have a heart-shaped shell, and coral definitely stole our hearts. And we want to give you tips on what you can do to help sea turtles out in the wild. Reduce the amount of artificial light on our coastlines. Light pollution can disorient sea turtles and their hatchlings and make it difficult for them to find their way to the ocean. So if you find yourself on the coastline after dark and need some light, make sure that your flashlight has a red filter on it and that will ensure that the sea turtle hatchlings are able to get back to the water. If you're a boater or you enjoy boating, make sure to slow down, especially when you're near shore, and avoid anchoring in eelgrass or coral reefs, which provide habitat and foraging for sea turtles. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Try to avoid using single-use plastics, such as bags and straws, as these animals can mistake these items for food, and we definitely don't want that. The final tip we have for you guys is to not release helium blue. So what goes up must come down, and these are often uh, ingested by sea turtles confused thinking they may be a jellyfish or something that they would regularly eat. And you can also participate in beach cleanups or even better to organize one yourself. I hope our tips today help you learn how to share the shores with our sea turtles so we can see them for generations to come. And one big cheer for coral. Woo! Woo! Back out to the wild today, our hearts.